Okay, this is definitely going to be the last video I upload today. Uh, I've been trying to set up this YouTube channel and it seems like it's going well, but I'm definitely going to need some of your help because I'm not great with it, obviously. I want to be able to customize it more, um, but I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been doing around the house uh, in all of my, uh, I guess, spare time while we deal with this virus. So, I made a cricket farm. Actually, sort of two of them. Uh, this, the bottom one, is more of the actual cricket farm. Uh, these guys are just kind of hanging out, um, just waiting to be eaten by a leopard gecko. Um, this is sort of like my, just like holding tank. I'm gonna fatten these guys up. There's some food at the bottom. Uh, and then uh, hit them with some calcium powder and then feed them to Rex, our leopard gecko. Um, so that's, these guys are just sort of like waiting to die. <laughs> Poor guys. Um, the, this is the actual farm. Now I'm gonna open this and then close it pretty quick because I don't want these guys to jump out. But those two little, uh, the soil bits that are over here, um, that's gonna be where they lay the eggs. They should be able to lay eggs and they're totally fine. Um, I've got over here a sponge soaking up some water down there. You want the sponge in there so that way uh, it keeps it moist and you don't want too much water otherwise they'll drown in it. Silly crickets. And they gotta make sure that there's plenty of, um, I'm gonna open it up again one more time, plenty of food in there. So I put a little upside down lid with a bunch of food uh, so that way they can feed whenever. And the food is just crushed up cat food. <laughs> hey, Rachel Ray's nourished. I'm not necessarily supporting them, but it was cheap at CBS. Um, so I just crushed up a whole bunch of cat food and that's, uh, you know, high in protein and pretty typical for what they get. And this way they don't eat each other. Um, so that's my cricket farm I've got going on. You also have to make sure to keep it pretty warm, which is why I'm going to keep hitting them with this light um, basically all the time. So that way these areas stay pretty warm because all my research told me to do what I just did, but also that they need to stay really warm. So <clears throat> that's that. Um, I'm also going to take you downstairs because this is another thing that I've been doing. So bear with me while it gets a little dark. So this is my basement and down here is my ping pong table. And so what I'm doing is trying to make a little painting here. And by little, I mean not little at all. So this is my sort of latest artistic endeavor. It's coming along pr pretty well. Um, it started because I've got these um, like they're like sort of like panel prints. I've had them for a long time, but um, I haven't really had them up. And so I put them here just because it seemed like they fit and the walls were kind of a gross looking green color you see over there. So I put them up there and then I was like, hey, I can make a mural. And so I've been sort of blending the mural into the, the painting there. There's see the three, one, two, three prints there. So that's what I'm working on now, trying to stay busy and uh, make some new life as you see those crickets upstairs, even though they're <clears throat> destined to die uh, via leopard gecko. And, you know, also try and keep myself busy uh, and do something productive and, and fun. So I hope you like it. It's coming along. I'll probably post some pictures and videos of it later on. Okay. Murphy out. Subscribe to my channel. You know, what else you got better to do? <laughs>